Hello guys, this is Kurt Yan of Calibrate Coffee and this is Brew Better. Today, I'll be brewing La Papaya Tetsu Kaseya Process Mejorano. With this, I will be using a Hario V60, specifically designed by Mr. Tetsu Kaseya, which has a no-ribbed part at the bottom of the brewer, making sure that the brews that you're making with it are actually slowed down just a tiny bit to make sure that the body and sweetness of the coffee is highlighted to the very best part of it. Another thing to point out is that I'm also using Abaca Plus filters to make sure that the body is not actually lost in the process of making this coffee. Now the Abaca Plus filters are actually meshed much thinner than the usual Abaca filters that you find in the market today so that it could actually produce well-bodied beverages from the time that you actually start brewing with it. So that in itself would create number one, high acidity, number two, good sweetness, and number three, a rich body that you can enjoy from the time that you drink it hot up until the point that it's actually at room temperature. So let's start brewing. Now I have here 13 grams of fine ground coffee uh, that's close to espresso so that you can experience a good amount of those flavor that's actually present in the coffee. From the 13 grams, I will be using a total of 195 milliliters of off-boil water that's actually set at a hardness of 80 parts per million. I'm using specialized water from Calibrate Coffee that actually also helps in extracting uh, the acidity and the sweetness for this cup. So let's start with a bloom of 30 milliliters. Make sure that you pour it slow, properly saturate the grinds as you go. Now, a little bit of a fact, uh, this is actually processed in the farm of Mr. Juan Peña at 2,200 meters above sea level. After 30 seconds, we'll pour in 70 mils, making sure that it's agitated at the very low height. I'm approximately going in spirals for approximately 10 times or more. Make sure you agitate the grounds as much as you can. Now what also makes this interesting is that this is a collaborative effort between Mr. Uh, Juan Peña, the farmer, and Tetsu Kasuya, also the person who introduced the specific fermentation process with this coffee, and also a previous World Brewers champion. Now we'll pour in 50 milliliters. Start with an outer circle, and then focus on the middle. And if you could notice, I'm actually pouring at a very slow rate, maintaining a stable stream. And now for my last pour, it's just going to be 30 milliliters. Now I'm making sure that I'm agitating as much as I can again, so that we can make sure that all of that good flavor from this cup is actually being drawn down. Our total brew time is three minutes and 30. Put it aside, and then I top up with another 15 milliliters. What's interesting is that this maintains uh, the body that you're actually extracting from the coffee, but at the same time, it elevates the clarity of the cup. So approximately four minutes in, you're pretty much done with your coffee. Now it's done, it's time to enjoy a good cup. simply amazing. You can really taste the tangerine, pomegranate, and dried mango flavor notes present in this cup. And at the same time, the body is quite different. It's really creamy uh, when you come to think about it. And as this is actually a four minute brew, the temperature of the coffee that you're drinking is pretty much already friendly to your tongue and your palate. Always remember that the best coffee is the one that you enjoy. Feel free to share with us your brewing method and experience with a coffee. You can also drop by at my Instagram page, calibrate.coffee, for more questions and for us to actually go and explore and discuss more details as to why I came up with this recipe. Cheers, and don't stop brewing.